In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of my favorite Lionel Polar Express components, and we're starting right now. Hi, my name is Owen, and I am continuing to build and expand my Lionel Polar Express model railroad layout. Lionel has been a near legendary maker of model railroad equipment for over 120 years. And one of the most successful products that they've ever produced is the Polar Express line. They started this oh, close to two decades ago now with the first ready to run O-gauge sets. And since that time, they have continued to introduce new Polar Express components on a regular basis. There are literally dozens and dozens and dozens of Polar Express pieces that you can use to build a model railroad today. And I'm doing that very thing. In these videos, I show you what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. I want to make a special shout out right now to one of my newest subscribers. Jack Hero. Jack loves trains. And so Jack, I hope you really enjoy this video today. So we're going to get started right now. First up is a group of figures that I've positioned at my North Pole scene. The Lionel Wolves and Rabbit set includes three wolves and four rabbits from the Polar Express movie. The caribou set is also shown here. The other figures include six elves, the hero boy and hero girl, Billy, Santa Claus, and on the other side of the Christmas tree, standing back in the distance by himself, is the hobo. All of these figures were made famous by the Polar Express movie. In addition, here's the famous North Pole and the snowman from the hero boy's front yard. I've mixed together figures from several different Lionel Polar Express figure packs, both here at the North Pole and on the Polar Express boarding platform scene, where we're going next. Most of these figures are still available. You can get more information at lionelstore.com or from authorized Lionel dealers. The Polar Express boarding platform has two lights overhead to provide illumination at night. The figures here are Santa, the conductor, the hero boy, and the hero girl. On the other side of the platform are Smokey and Steamer, the Polar Express locomotive's fireman and engineer. Full disclosure time. I blew out the original lights by accidentally reversing polarity several months ago. To fix that problem, I installed Woodland Scenic's Just Plug Nano Lights. I also painted the inside of the light fixtures white to reflect more light down onto the platform. Another of my favorite additions to the Polar Express is the Elf Handcar. The Polar Express trolley runs on its own line, reversing direction automatically at each end and stopping in the middle for passenger to board and deboard the trolley. There's a fast track section included that allows you to record your own announcements. I did an unboxing video on the trolley that provides a lot more information. I've provided a link below to that video. Next up is the Polar Express barrel loading accessory and the Polar Express barrel ramp freight car. When I first received this accessory, I couldn't get the light to work, so I installed a Woodland Scenic Just Plug Gooseneck light on the side of the platform. I finally found the short in my accessory circuit that was preventing the Lionel light from working, and I fixed it. So now I have two lights on the platform. I really like the way it looks trackside. However, Lionel didn't design it to actually work with the barrel ramp car. If you want to actually use it to load barrels, you'll have to have the workman on the platform kick the barrel into a gondola car. Let me show you how that would work. As you can see, that's not an automated process. It's a manual kick, but actually you can do it and it's kind of fun. This is the barrel ramp car that came as the set with the barrel loading trackside accessory. The barrels on the car are actually a different size than the barrels that are on the barrel loading platform. The end car in the passenger train has a rear observation deck. A year or two ago, Lionel made this special car 
exclusively for Lionel Collectors Club of America. It has the hobo on skis with the hero boy hanging onto a ski pole. The snow covered roof has ski tracks. This car is now available to everyone from Lionel and Lionel dealers. I've included it in the list of product numbers below. Another great addition to the Polar Express passenger train is the disappearing hobo car. This is now available in either a black roof, like I have, or a white roof. This is a just-for-fun car that echoes the Polar Express movie perfectly. I think that the very best new Lionel Polar Express product that has come out since they originally introduced the Polar Express all those years ago is by far the Lion Chief locomotive. With Lion Chief, the locomotive can be controlled by this remote. This is a big step forward from conventional control using the transformer. See how cool this is? Lionel will soon begin shipping an O-Gage Lionel Lion Chief Plus 2.0 Polar Express locomotive. That will add a lot more features and control options, including the use of the Lionel app on an iPad. The original Lionel Polar Express ready-to-run cars all had black roofs, but a few years ago Lionel started making cars with white roofs too. Now most of the cars are available in your choice of black or white roof. Here's a Polar Express combination car with the white roof. Notice the footprints in the snow? Combination cars are half passenger car and half freight car. The next car is a baby Madison dining car. It's about two inches shorter than the regular Madison dining car. Next comes a really cool car with the conductor holding a signal lantern out the side. He makes announcements too. The next car is the Lost Toys car, another great addition to the Polar Express from the movie. If we look through the window, you can see the puppets and the toys inside hanging from their strings that were a prominent feature of the Polar Express movie. Switching over to the Lionel Polar Express freight train, these two Polar Express boxcars were bought as a set. Then we have a Silver Bells treasure car and a Silver Ore car. Next is the Believe gondola car. Jack Hero, this is a car I especially wanted to share with you. It's the reindeer stock car. As it moves along the track, the reindeer bob up and down, in and out of the openings in the upper part of the doors. Let's turn it on and see it in motion. The Polar Express searchlight car is also pretty cool. Whatever way that light is shining will actually project the Polar Express PE logo. The Hero Boy Brakeman car is next. Watch as the boy moves back and forth across the top, turning around at each end to continue his walk. Here's another style box car and that is followed by the Christmas Presents gondola car. And then finally in this freight train comes the hot chocolate tank car. We'll finish with another accessory, the Hero Boys House. This is pretty cool, just out of the box from Lionel. However, I've made a few modifications. First, the interior light from Lionel has a Lion plug expand play connector on it. The problem is that the connecting wire and the connector are cluttering up the layout instead of being hidden beneath it. So I cut the plug expand play connector off and replaced it with fork connectors to hook it up to the Lionel accessory circuit under my train tables. The second problem is that the windows are transparent when it's received from Lionel. So you can look inside the house and see that it's empty and doesn't have a floor. Also, the light leaks out under the house. 
To fix these problems, I use two Woodland Scenix products. The light diffusing window film kit provides opaque film to cover the windows so you can't see in. The light blocking kit provides materials for blocking light leaks. Finally, the Lionel light isn't really bright enough to illuminate the interior realistically, so I added a Woodland Scenix Just Plug stick-on light to make it brighter. Over the next few months, Lionel will be releasing a lot more O-Gage Polar Express products. As they arrive, I'll do videos to introduce each of them. You won't want to miss any of these upcoming videos, so click subscribe to be notified of each new video as I post it. And please click the thumbs up below and like this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.